Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are doing a revision exercise of all the triangle geometry that you had done in grade 10. There are two types of theorems that you had learned in grade 10 regarding triangles. The first one was where you were given a triangle and it was given that the triangle was cut by its midpoints. So what is given is that the opposite sides are cut in half. So I have AB is equal to DB and then I have that AE is equal to EC. Now if you are given that, what can you decide? Then you must know A. If I am given that, I must immediately write that DE is parallel to BC. And our reason would be midpoint theorem. Now the second theorem, it is also a triangle and we also have a line cutting through it. What they give us is that it cuts through the midpoint of one side but it is parallel to the second side. Okay, so what is given is that AE is equal to EB and that ED is parallel to BC. Now, after that, what do we decide? The deduction is that AD is equal to DC. So what you must remember is that if you are given at any point two of the items, then the third one is accepted. Now for this theorem we say midpoint of one side parallel to the other. Now the last thing to remember and this is by far the most important one is that in both cases DE would equal to half of BC. So the most important thing and this is valid for both rules is that the top line is half of the bottom line. The top line is half of the bottom line. Now looking at the following rider what are they saying? They are telling us that CA CA is equal to 2 of AG. Now if it's 2 of AG that means that if AG is X then GC is also going to equal to X because the entire thing is 2X. And then they're telling us that it is equal to 4 of AE. Now if it is equal to 4 of AE then it means that AE and EG is equal. Now why would that be so important? Let us dissect the triangles. So we have A, D, E, F, G. We have, because they are both equal, you can see that they are cut in half. But they also give us that they are parallel. Now as soon as they do that, what do we know about the other side? The other side is equal. Why? Line parallel to one side and the midpoint of the other. So here we have that AD is equal to DF. Why? Midpoint to one line and parallel to the other. Now if you don't see that I am given an equal line and you don't notice the parallel lines, you will not be able to see the other information. What else they give us now? Now look at the next triangle. Now we are looking at a bigger triangle. So now we are looking at a and F 
and G and we're looking at B and C. Now you know that it is also X and X which means they are telling me that AG and GC are equal and they've already given to us that it's parallel. So what can we say now? That AF is equal to FB. Why? Midpoint to one line and parallel to another. You must be able to see the different triangles that we are discussing. Right. Then they go on to say that BC is 30. Now if BC is 30 and then we have, we know that A, once we have midpoint to one line and parallel to another, we know immediately that FG is going to equal to half of BC for the very same reason, midpoint to one line, parallel to another. So what is the value of FG? FG is going to equal to half of 30, therefore FG is going to equal to 15. Now if we have that this is 15, look it's 15, then we can immediately say what is DE? DE is going to be half of FG. For the very same reason, midpoint to one line, parallel to another. So that would mean that DE is going to equal to a half of 15, which is equal to 7 and a half. Now if they wanted BC, they already gave us BC. So that is just a repeat. What is BC? And then we can tell them BC is equal to 30 and that was given. Let's look at the next one. Now pay attention again to what they are giving us. They are giving us that two sides are equal. As soon as they give us that, we can say, hey, you know what? DE is parallel to BC. Y is midpoint theorem. Now if you look at the midpoint theorem, it says if the two sides are equal, then immediately the third side is parallel and DE is equal to half of PC. So this would mean that this case DE is going to equal to a half of BC, also midpoint theorem. Now if they tell us that BC is 10 centimeters, Immediately I can say, okay, so, so immediately I know that DE is going to equal to a half of 10, which means that DE is going to equal to 5. So DE is 5 centimeters. Then they're telling us that FC is 4 centimeters. Calculate, we've calculated DE, calculate AB. Now if FC is 4 centimeters, we know now that DF is parallel to BC. Basically, we know that this line is parallel to this line. But notice that they've given us that DB is parallel to FC. So what kind of shape do I have? I have that DBFC is a parallelogram. Why? Opposite sides are parallel. Now if it's a parallelogram then I know that FC is going to equal to DB. Why? Opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. That would mean DB is equal to 4. But they told us that DB is equal to AD. So AD is also going to equal to 4. Why? It was given. That would lead to the conclusion that AB is equal to 8 centimeters. Thank you for watching.